Welcome to On the Road with Craig and Linda, where every day is an adventure. All right, folks, it may be snowing in Chicago, but it's a beautiful day for a baseball game in sunny Mesa, Arizona, the home of the Chicago Cubs training facility. Let us know down below in the comments of where you think the Cubs are going to finish this year. Isn't that a gorgeous field? Let's take a walk down to my seats and check them out. Sorry, just kidding. Those really aren't my seats. Oh, I wish Harry Carey was still alive singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game for the seventh inning stretch hanging out that window up there. And here's another view from this center field. But of course with Linda, you know, the first thing we gotta do, stop at the bathroom. As we take our tour up the first base side, the first thing we see is the gift shop. But look who we have here, the Cubs number one fan. Go Cubs, go! As we turn the corner, the first thing we see is a big beer tent. Nothing like some cold brewskis on a hot summer day, watching the boys of summer, or shall we say spring. And behind right field, there's a bunch of food trucks. Let's see what delicious foods they have to offer. And look, there's Linda's favorite, ice cream. Go Cubs! <laughs> we love them Cubbies. Homemade ice cream from under the lights, come on over. So I got Linda a cone that'll last her the whole game. It's Chucky's famous breaded pork tenderloins. And in the back, they even have a place for the kids, the kids zone. Hey, better, better swing. Now it's time for the wind up and the pitch. It's a strike. They have a lot of great stands that promote the taste of Chicago, but wait till you see where we go to eat at the end. Let's see if we can find something exciting in one of the shops. And then it appears, Ferguson Jenkins, the Hall of Famer himself. There's Fergie. Growing up in Chicago, he was one of my favorites. He even signed a ball for me. He truly was one of my idols when I was playing in the Sandlots as a kid. Thank you, sir. And who remember when the Cubs would shine in 69 with players like Ferguson Jenkins, Ron Sano, Billy Williams, and Mr. Cub himself, Ernie Banks. What a team that was. This is what's pretty cool about spring training. You get up close and personal with all the players. And let's check out our starting pitcher, the professor himself. Yep, that's Kyle Hendricks, and certainly hope he opens up with a first pitch strike. All right, let's start heading back to our seats and pick up a few drinks and snacks and get ready for the game. Ooh, bourbon. That sounds like a winner to me. Here's a little known fact. Most people don't know the original song was Buy Me a Bourbon and Cracker Jack. And what's really amazing, there's no Cracker Jack, just kettle corn. Off to our seats. Now I purchased these out in the parking lot and I hope this works out better than the tickets I bought for NASCAR. But there's nothing like going to a ballpark, just hanging around with some friends and having a few beers, wondering are the Cubs gonna be any good this year? How far are we gonna go? How much are we gonna be disappointed? But it is the Chicago Cubs. 
that we always have such optimism in the spring, but this year we've got a new manager. But I am feeling lucky today, so let me go with the 50-50 raffle. And let's check out our seats and see if I made a good deal out in the parking lot. Just putting up the finishing touches on the field and we're ready to get started with the ball game. What a great voice that he has. Very nice gentleman. Thank you for serving our country. Look at all those medals. Thank you. <laughs> now the managers and the umpires are meeting, deciding on where they're going to go afterwards for some beer and pizza. <laughs> I just love hearing those words, play ball. Now, let's see if my predictions come through that the first ball he throws is going to be a strike. I certainly hope the Cubs have a winning season this year. It makes things around Chicago so much nicer. And the windup, and the pitch, Steerike! Big off the Cubs at the first. Third baseman, numbers they contain, Chris Wyatt. And yep, that's my favorite player on the Cubs for 2020. If you got some extra tickets, Chris, send them my way. Chicago fans everywhere. And there's some now hooting and hollering at us, saying, What a game. And let's 
order up so we can get on the road and on to our next adventure. Thanks for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed it. Now we ask us three things. First of all, give us a big thumbs up. Secondly, hit that subscribe button. And third, share it with all your friends. Thanks for watching us and catch us on our next adventure. <laughs>